Welcome back. This is Shazex, and today I'll be showing you the top 4 easiest attack strategies for TH9. I've also included a strategy which does not require any CC troops. And most importantly, these strategies do not require any fancy hero's equipment, and I'll show you the army combinations at the end of every attack. So make sure you watch the whole video till the end. And let's get started after a small intro. Here's the first attack strategy. Now let me explain the basics of these basics. So first we will drop 3 golems like this. Then we will spam the line of witches behind the golems. Then heroes. Then all the wall breakers. And when the trash buildings will be cleared then we will drop bowlers from CC. And that's all we have to do. And the rest of the attacks will be carried out by the troops. And now let me show you how I tripled the space. So as you can see we will drop the golems from behind. And then the line of witches. And then the heroes. And now the bowlers. Enemy CC troops have come out. So we will drop the poison spell. First compartment of walls are broken, so we now deploy the bowlers from a little behind our main army, so that they don't get hit from the strike of E-drag, as bowlers have very little health. And make sure you have done enough funneling otherwise the bowlers might stray out from the path. The bowlers have entered inside the base, now we will drop the healing and rage spell altogether. This combination of bowlers will wreck the whole base in just a second. As you can see how easily we cleared the core of the base. Now we will use the rest of the spells on the troops. You can start your attack from any side, but starting from the queen's side or CC side have great advantage. As this is just a spamming army and most easy to triple bases, that's why it is number one. You can ask me anything if you have any questions till now. You guys must try this attack strategy and tell me the results. As this is a powerful and most easy spamming strategy, the success rate is always 100. And you can see here, the hero's equipment was of no use that much. And I've got a detailed video on which slap in my channel. If you wish you can watch that video to learn more deeply about that strategy. But yes, watch that video after you finish this one. Keep in mind, not all bases are created equal. Analyze the layout and adjust your deployment accordingly. With practice, you'll learn to identify the optimal path for your witches to wreak havoc. The versatility of witch slap is what makes it so effective. It adapts to different base designs and always delivers results. And here's the army combinations and the equipment of heroes. Here's the second attack strategy. The Lava Loon strategy. Another spamming strategy. First we will lure out the enemy CC using our heroes. The heroes are enough to take down the enemy CC troops. Now we will start our attack from the queen's side. We will drop 18 to 20 loons along with two lava hounds. And drop another lava hound from CC with the loons. Then we will drop two rage spells like this to boost our loons to destroy the air defenses. Meanwhile we will use the skeleton spell upon the queen. And we will freeze the sweeper with the freeze spell. And that's the plan for this base. And now let me show you the reply, how I tripled this base. So we will drop the heroes according to the plan to lure out the clan castle troops. A lava hound came out. So we will drop two more baby dragons. And now let's start our main attack. We will spam all the loons altogether and leave a few loons for later. If you wish you can drop them surgically. That's up to you. And now the lava hounds deployment, according to the plan. Now we will drop the rage spells, so that the loons can destroy the defenses, while the defenses get locked on lava hounds. We will drop the skeleton spell to distract the queen and other defenses. Now we will use the rest of the spells accordingly. As you can see we are heading to a perfect 3 stars. I have tons of Lavaloon strategies for Town Hall 9 in my channel. I'll link some of them in the i card and description, make sure you watch them after you finish this one. As the basics for Lavaloon strategy begins from TH9. So guys, I hope you are enjoying this video, if you are enjoying a little bit, then don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification for more awesome strategies.
as it requires a lot of effort to make such videos. Your support always helps me to make new videos for you. Here's the army combination. Here's the mighty zap dragon strategy. Always try to go opposite of the air sweeper. And as archer queen and air defense are located close together, we can take them out by using four zap spells on them. Then we will also break this air defense, along with sweeper with the four zap spells. Then we will use the rest of the zap spells and give damage to this air defense. Then we will start our attack from this side. We will drop two Coco Loons and one Dragon for funneling this side. And heroes on this side for funneling. When the funnelings will be done, then we will spam all our troops like this. And now let me show you the reply, how I tripled the space. So first we will break the air defenses according to the plan. Now we will start the funnelings accordingly. And when the funnelings will be done, we will drop everything according to the plan. We will deploy the electro from the CC a little bit further from our main troops. This will help the electro to give more damage to the base. As you can see the dragons are wreaking havoc on the base. There's nothing to do much on spamming attack strategies. You need to understand the base and try using these armies. No strategy works best if you don't have enough practice on them. So make sure you practice more and more before jumping with any attacks. You can comment down below if you wish to get more of these attack strategies. And yes I've also got tons of zap dragons videos on my channel. Feel free to check them out after finishing this one. The spamming strategies are one of the easiest and powerful strategies if you can execute them correctly. You can use them for both farming and trophy pushing. And here's the army combination. Last but not the least. This is the strategy which does not require any CC troops. And you guessed this right, this strategy is from practice mode. You can practice more easily if you try this attack strategy from practice mode. But for now let me just demonstrate the attack strategy. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it a little bit, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos. Your support always helps me to make new videos for you. And yes don't forget to watch the videos on the iCard and in the description that I mentioned earlier. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, till then stay safe. Stay beautiful. Peace.